friends, how are you doing? Today's video is something that I just came in mind that Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I really want to show you two different looks I will do one side I don't know, maybe in a smoky eye, sort of and the other side a bold lip just now the two of them just half of my face, one look and half of the face, the other look so I will start with the eyes so if I don't have a fallout or anything so yeah let's chop right into the video see everything I have near me and I will still start with this concealer just like a eye primer we try to do this video as far as I, as I can it's just a little bit to cancel, to, to cancel the dark so the redness and the, the veins I have on my little lead yeah. I will powder I will powder that concealer on, on the lid with this shade so I will just dust all that shade on the, what I just put my concealer That I, I know this phone's camera is making me crazy because the close-ups is kind of zoom some parts and not even them. So yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't have a real good camera. So now I will go for the transition shades for the two eyes and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but let me show you with the flash on how this eyeshadow palette, because just from the camera looks weird. It looks like it's brown, but in fact, they are purples. This is purple, this is dark purple, this is a, some sort of lilac-ish. This is... And these are not brown. I don't know what is happening with this phone that is not um, grabbing the colors. The, they are real. I will try to show you again with another light uh, so you can see the, the shades But when I finish this look. This one has a transition shade and then I will go for this shades run here. I don't know. And one of the shimmers, maybe this one or this one. Well, I just grab the, that third shade and we'll just place it right there in my crease. I don't know if you can see it. It's a nice transition shade, but it's kind of purplish brown. But it's not like the brown I see from the camera. I don't know. Later on, I would check it from the computer if that is a difference or or not. I would ch I, I just grab a little bit more and I blend. I try to blend a little bit more upwards. I will go for the other eye with the transition shade. The other eyeshadow palette. This palette shows exactly the way they should look the other palette. I don't know why. Well, I will use this transition shade and I will use this two shade. Uh, no, this, this shade. A little bit this shade in the outer third. So these two shades, crease and outer third. So I look a little bit crazy today. After this, I will have some sort of shower. So, if you see this video, I don't care when you see it, just comment down below what you're doing on Valentine's Day, what you did on Valentine's Day, the worst Valentine's Day you have, the best Valentine's Day you have. Um, yeah, I never had a Valentine's Day, even though I was for 
around three years, uh, two years and a half, but three Valentine's Day happened with the same guy. I never got a Valentine's Day with that guy. And I don't remember have another Valentine's Day with someone else. So it's pretty awful. I am just leave this so you can see what I'm putting it, but actually I prefer doing my eyes like that. So I just place in that taupey brown. I don't know how you, what kind of brown is, but it's cool toned brown. Right there, you can see different colors. This is more purple, and this one is a little bit more cool toned. Well, I will grab another brush, and I will just go with that shade that I showed you before. I just grab that brown shade but i just slightly i just go like this because i have a vein in there that is bothering me and it's pulling the product in a way i don't want to it's my eyelid it's not the product itself so i just go with a very light hand just to have something dark in there but not like a smoky eye sorry for shaking the camera so for me like that it will be great the smoky eye will go to the other eye. So I will just go a little bit more bold, but not so much. Just picked up a little bit more. I don't know where I put it. I have no idea where I put the, the color up, well, but it's a tiny bit more. I can create it some sort of smokish eye but not so bad so that's it with this eye I will go for the little bit I will show you the colors I'm using if I just close my eye a little bit so I can put that purple there I cannot see the screen of the phone there I can see it with this I cannot and now I will grab the dark the darkest um, color with another brush so I just using that I cannot see any of that but I can see this be using a black eyeshadow soon so if you can just see how pigmented it is I don't know if you can see that it's purple there I hope you can see that it's a little bit opaque and a little bit goes a long way I will grab the again the brush that I use that or the purple. I will show you the, the shades. I don't know there if you can see it anymore. It's going like washing the color. I used this one and this one just in the uh, add a third. I will use this single ouch that is black. So I'm using this now just right there in the wow in the inner third. But before going to that black one, I would just want to blend it a bit more so there are no harsh lines. It's all blending in here. I will go and grab the black. So we'll just focus. I can't see anything. If I close my eyes, I cannot even see the mirror. Or the phone. I don't know if you can see. What I'm doing, I know it looks weird. Don't worry, you won't look weird. Because I will blend another color, I just put in black, but I don't have 
I hope you can see this. I have a better angle for, with, with the other eye. I'm doing like two eyes differently. It looks a little bit odd for me. Let me grab the other brush. So what I'm doing the eyes first is because if I don't, if I have it fall out, I can clean it like that with a cloth or I think it's let me just pause it and see what I'm doing because I cannot really see anything. Act with that this brush I have here as well because I have on my, my fingers I don't know how I did it. But I would just clean this like that. You know that I don't like shadows underneath my eyes so this could be it so that's why you do your eyes before okay and then you can clean it up a little bit more with the concealer i would just clean my fingers off camera just grab with a wet brush this shade and i will put it in the one that it would be soft and with the bold lips so as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'm sorry. This is like very, very great. It's kind of a soft look. I, you can go with a finger so you can blend the two colors. They are that brown. I just dusted the dark, dark brown and that brown has shimmer. That's why I dusted that. And I will go with something similar to this eye as well. I'll show you the shade. I, I will use this shade that is pink-ish. <laughs> Here it looks like white, but it has some sheen to it. So, so there we have it. And if I want a little bit more impact, while is uh, the shade wet, I just grab my finger, I will do that, and I will pack it on so it can go like bam. And with it, with a clean finger, I'm just trying to melt the other colors together to that one. So you don't need so many brushes to do that. So I will just go now with it for the face and I will show you exactly what I'm using. The eyes are almost complete. I will go for a little bit of mascara but after the face is done. I moisturized my face and with a damp sponge I will just stamp the foundation all over my face because that will be the same foundation. I now will put concealer. The foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match in 1C, but I prefer, even though I'm a cool undertone, I prefer the neutral undertone because it's a little bit lighter. This oxidizes is just one bit, just half of the shade, and it's, I don't know, I, I, I don't mind it, but I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible because on this day you will have a boy or a girl close to you, your face and they will see all the pores and everything that is going on so the less possible the best I got the foundation on my hand and I like this one because it's lightweight and covers. I will grab the concealer and I will continue with that. Okay, I will just grab a true line concealer. Just there because it's so close to the 
foundation tone I am not highlighting this is fair this is the, the shade fair now I will blend powder my face and then I will go back this is the powder I used and is fair there with this Revlon it has some sheen to it I'll be contouring just put this blush that is a good and nice peach tone has some shimmer. Yes, I'm, I'm filming in the bathroom, so that's the, the sink. I won't contour with this, but I will use, oops, sorry, this highlighter. It's subtle. It's not so blinding, but it's okay. You can build it up a little bit. It's in light. So, yeah, it's this palette. What I'm doing is with a reminding of the shade here, I just kind of grabbing it like that so I can go for some sort of a smoky eye. Now I would go for the mascara, I would put something in the waterline and the lips. This one, my brows, just to uh, give them some form. But now I'm going to use mascaras. I would use this mascara in the one that is the eye is just bam, that is my right side, and this one is more classic on the left for more natural look. I just used these two, this one in in the more natural look, and this one on the bald side the right and the left and finally i will put this two first i will show you the both looks with this one and then in the left side i will use this one on top so you can see the difference i don't know if you can see this but this side is kind of natural and this side is kind of smoky and now I will put the red lip but I want to zoom you to the eye I just got mascara on the lid hmm <laughs> that is not good but um, I'm trying to clean it up a little bit so I'm sorry if you see some spots that were not there it was because I was with the with a q-tip trying to clean the mess this is the eye I wanted to show this part, not this one, this one. And I will show you now the other eye. There you have it. I don't know if you can see the length. This is the, the butterfly side and this one is the normal side. So it's kind of more open. You can see there versus this one is kind of more like that and the black and the white line the nude in this one so it can be a little bit more soft now i feel like i am two different people <laughs> so this one side and now this is the other one so comment down below which one you like and if you like this video just please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you wanted to follow me on any kind of social media except facebook i have it that for myself and well i hope to see you in my next video and i hope you enjoy your valentine's day thank you for watching see you bye bye